Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, I would like to talk about the TTP 223 capacitive touch sensor. I'll be demonstrating the various configurations of using this sensor and also giving some example of how you can use it with the Arduino microcontroller. These touch sensors are used in a number of applications. There is an alternative to the traditional mechanical switches and buttons in making user control panels. For example, we check in the home appliances like um, refrigerators, washing machines, microwaves, and also find touch sensors in ATM machines, televisions. They are very common in a number of applications in, our, in every day to day life. So, today, this is what I want to talk about. So, this is our TTP 223 capacitive touch sensor. Uh, this is the top part, and this is uh, the sense pad. So, this is where we touch, and this side. The back part shows you the three pins. This is the VCC, this is the input and output pin, and this is the ground pin. This is the, the TP 223 IC, which controls the sensitivity properties of this sensor. And this is the touch identification LED here, turns on and off depending on how the sensor has been configured to work. Inside, we have the sensitivity adjustment. Capacitor terminal. This is where we place the capacitor for adjusting the sensitivity of the sensor. We usually place the capacitor from 0 to 50 picofarads. Then here, we have these two configuration terminals labeled A and B. These are the ones which determine the operation modes of this sensor. I'm going to be talking more about this shortly. So here we are showing you the relationship between the TTP223 touch sensor pinout and then the touch sensor schematic. So as you can see, this is the TTP223 and BA6. It's the same setup as the 223BA6 IC. So this IC has six pins. The first pin is the output pin. The second pin is the brown pin. The third pin is the sensor input. And this one is attached to the sense pad of the touch sensor. It is also connected to the sensitivity adjustment capacitor, CS. So this capacitor is the one which is going to be attached here to the sensitivity adjustment capacitor terminal. Here you can put a sensor between 0 to 50 picofarads to adjust the sensitivity of your sensor, depending on how you want to use it. And then pin 5, that is the power pin. This is attached to the positive terminal of your power supply. Then you have these pins, pin 6 and pin 4. These are the ones which are labeled A and B in our touch sensor here. These are the configuration terminals here and which determine the mode of operation of this sensor. So this pin 6 is the toggle pin and determines the type of output. It is low by default and also making it in direct mode. So when you turn it high, the sensor will move into the toggle mode. Then um, this pin 4 determines the default value of the output pin and also by default it is low and the output pin is also low so when you turn it high the output pin turns high so these two pins a and b are ones which are here in these configuration terminals and depending on whether they are high or low and they'll be giving you different operation modes of this sensor this is the simple setup i'm going to be using to test the various operation modes of our sensor the visits of the sensor is going to be connected to the positive power supply then the ground to the negative power supply this is my power supply here then the output pin I'm going to I'm going to connect it to a simple LED which will be to be turning on and off depending on how the sensor has been configured so I'm going to be using four touch sensors each of them are being configured differently uh, for example if you look at this one we see that this terminal A is soldered in other words this is closed while B is open if you look at this one B is closed A is open this one, both A and B are closed. Then this one, look at this one. This one, A and B are open. So now I'm going to be demonstrating how each of them works. I'll begin with this one where A and B are both open. So I'll turn on my power supply. And as you can see, the LED is off, meaning that the output is low. So when I touch, the LED turns on, meaning the output is now high. When I move the finger, it turns low high, low. This is what they call a direct mode and the default value of the output is low. 
So let's test another one and see. I'm going to test this one. This is uh, here. A is closed, B is open. Let's test this one and see. I turn on my power supply. And let's now the LED goes on, meaning the initial value of the output is high. So when I put my finger, it goes off. I move, turns on. Like that. Meaning that this one is also in direct mode. The initial value of the output is high. Let's test another one. Yeah, this one, A is open, B is closed. You see now the output is low because the LED is not turning on. When you touch, it turns open. You remove, it remains high until you touch again. This is toggle mode and the initial value of the output is low. Let's test another one. So for this one, both A and B are closed. So this is what we get here. We turn on our power supply. And you see that the initial value of the output is high. And when you touch, it turns low. You touch again, it turns high. Turns low, turns high. So this is also in toggle mode, but the initial value is high of the output. So those are the different working modes of our sensor. So now I'm going to give a simple demonstration on how to use the TTP223 capacitive touch sensor with the Arduino microcontroller. I'm going to use this simple setup here where I'll be having my touch sensor here and this is the LED which is going to act as the output so the touch sensor output pin is going to be connected to Arduino digital pin 7 and then my LED is going to be connected to pin 2 of the Arduino board then uh, I'll use the Arduino ground and VCC will be, they'll be the same which are going to be shared with the sensor an LED. So this is the simple setup. Let me now look at the kind of code that we are going to be using here. This is the simple code we are going to be using to use the TTP223 capacity touch sensor with Arduino. So this code is simply going to be for using the sensor as a simple toggle switch. In other words, when you touch the sensor, it turns on, and when you touch again, it turns off. The first part, we simply declare the pins where I've connected the sensor and the LED. So in this case, I'm going to connect the sensor pin on digital pin 7 of the Arduino board and then the LED on digital pin 2. Then use these variables for the last step of the of the LED, the current state and the LED state. In the setup section, we initialize the communication and also declare the sensor pin as input and the LED pin as output. Then the loop section is the one which determines the toggle mode or the toggle functionality of our sensor and LED. So this one simply reads the current state of the sensor and for example if the sensor is low if the last state of our sensor was low and the current state is high then the LED will turn low and then if it was low and then the current state is high then the LED is going to turn low then you use the digital read method to send the signal to the LED to turn the current state so let's upload this code to Arduino and we see how it's going to be working Okay, now I've finished uploading the code to the Arduino board. Let's test it and see. So you see here, when I touch the sensor, the LED goes on and stays on until I touch again. So as you can see, that is now the toggle mode, but uh, the sensor I'm using is actually in direct mode because those configuration pins A and B are both open. So if you're using it without the microcontroller, it will be in direct mode. But in this case, I'm using the Arduino microcontroller. So as you can see now, I've changed it to toggle mode. I will leave it to try out using other operation mode like in toggle mode and when you put it the same code and you see what happens. For now, that's it for today. Hope you've enjoyed my tutorial and hope you've learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to watch my other tutorials. Thanks for watching.